Oh. Okay, Brian. Um, now, the Hyundai dealership of the week is Darius Taylor. And he's team from Pennant Hills, Hyundai Pennant Hills. Darius is just – he's – I know Darius Boyd gets a lot of yeah. kudos, Brian, but uh, young Taylor here, what a, what a 12 months Darius has had. Uh, Bullseye Taylor, they call him, yeah, has yeah. not missed. Nope. Old BT yep. just does not miss. W- whether it's darts, whether it's pool, yep. whether it's selling cars, da- does not miss. So does miss. go down and see Bullseye. Yep, contact uh, Bullseye Darius and his team to test drive the all-new Hyundai Kona, imagined to be bowled. Round six preview, Brian. Uh, we spoke about that uh, wonderful evening. Were you down 16-2? 16-2 at half time. Did you lead 2-0? Where'd the two come uh, from? Would have been a would have been a Fitzy would have might have been a yeah must have good been a Fitzy too wasn't he? Fitzy was very good after making all those tackles after making all yeah. my tackles and he had to go and yeah. kick goals as well. Oh, I know. Uh, yeah, we, I think you're right. We took the two early. Too early. And then it was just unanswered. Sixteen points. Yep. See you later. So you know, Gal Gal um, he tells a story about when they played Melbourne during the year. They took a two 0 lead and ended up getting beat thirty to two or something. Mm. In the grand final, same thing presented itself. And he's going, oh, what do I do? Last time I took the two, they lapped us. But he took the two. Yeah. And they won by two. Well, there you go. There you go. Dreams are free. Dreams are free, Brian. All ships rise with the tide. Correct. Unless they're badly wrapped. Yes. And then you're in trouble. Then you're in big trouble. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, Dylan Lucas fills in. You like Dylan Lucas, don't you, Brian? I do. I do. I do. He's a back row. He's a center come back row, which they always seem to do. Yep. I got a lot of time for him. I said he's an Origin player potentially. Yep. What about Gregory Marzu? Uh, is he back? Is he well? He's on the extended list. Do we see Gregory Marzu? Would he be on there if he wasn't playing? Nope. So you see him playing? I see him playing. I see it might be Janko might have to. Uh, which he's been he's been great. Yep. You know what I'm tipping, Tommy, Brian? Tommy J. I'm tipping a breakout game for Kai Pierce Paul. KPP. Because he hasn't yet scored in the National Rugby League. He's on the left-hand side. We know the Knights love going to the left-hand side. Yeah. The right-hand side for the Roosters is brand new. It's really hard defence when you haven't played with each other a lot. So you're going to have Connor Watson, who's been a good friend of the show, by the way. We wish him all the best. Yeah. On the right-hand side of Connor Watson's Jennings in game yep. 300. Yep. And then you've got young Junior Ponga. Yep. So that's a brand new right edge. Yes. I think Kai Pierce paul it'll be the... The coming of age for this young okay. man. Well, I hope you're wrong. Yeah. I, I think the Roosters can win this. Yep. I can. I think backs against the wall. Trent Robinson needs the uh, to bring out some of his best motivation. Yep. Motivation uh, speeches. I don't think it'll be. It's going to be tough for him. But I, I think the bounce back factor. They were dreadful. And they'll be the first to admit against the dogs. So, chooks for me, not by much. Becoming quite the fortress. The Knights have won eight of their past nine at McDonald Jones Stadium. Here's Adam O'Brien, the coach. Talking about the Sydney Roosters, and of course, he was an assistant coach to to Robbo there as well. No, definitely not. They've got plenty of depth. I think whilst they're missing a couple of individuals, they'll be looking for a team-based performance. You know, the the team first actions, effort areas. That's what they'll be relying on winning, winning as a team. So, uh, yeah, we we haven't focused a hell of a lot on them. It's been more on us, which I know is a cliche, but yeah, they're still a, a really formidable team to play against. Okay, um, there you go, Adam O'Brien, just playing a straight bat there, Brian. Yeah, are you confident on the uh, Knights? No. no. No, you're not? I'm not confident, no. No, I, 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 it's a flip of the coin. Okay. I think the Knights are too short, actually, in the market, but I just, uh, I don't know how to read the Knights. Uh, the, the Roosters, Brian. <sighs> They're back to their old sort of Kiri needs a day out. Well, I think Kiri, he loves the responsibility of running the team. When we've been saying this, we don't know whether that works. Well, it doesn't work, the... The Sam Walker, Kiri combo. No, it does. It's, no. su- it's such a predicament for Robbo, isn't it? it? It is. But I thought the the, the second half, he really stood up. Yeah. He was doing the, a lot of the kicking. I think that's what he needs. I think he likes the responsibility, Luke Kiri. We saw it in the grand final when Cooper Cronk was there. I think he sort of froths on the yeah. being the man. And the old left centre of New South Wales plays game 300, yeah. Michael Jennings, taking on the man who's now got that position. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll be a battle. 35-year-old. Yep. Don't know whether he might finish the game in the centres, you know. He Chico. Might, he might get the cramps, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Angus Croyton might have to go out there and fill, yeah. out and fill in. But um, it's going to be a great game. Can't wait for it. The Storm take on the Bulldogs. Ryan Pappenhausen hasn't played them for a while, but last time he did, he scored four tries. Jacob Kiros goes to centre. 
Fox returns to the wing. Kurt Mann is out. Jamin Salmon, as you said, is swimming upstream. Mm -hmm. He moves to 13. Josh Curran comes into the second row. Debut's on the bench. And you know a little bit about Bailey ha Haywood. And uh, Puasa Farmacilli is back. Yeah, the dogs start like a house on fire. This is going to be... Put it this way. They, they won't be able to ambush this side, Melbourne. No. Um, or whether you call that an ambush. But Nelson is back in the extended squad. Yeah, you we think, play. I think you play. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, I don't know. We get to see Stevie Crichton at fullback. Like that. He scored uh, last three times at fullback. He scored in each of those. So if you're looking for something he's, there. He's a gun. He's a gun. Uh, Broncos and the Dolphins. Battle of Brisbane. Uh, heaving crowd. This is a great thing for the game, isn't it? This it, battle. Yeah, and it's and we, we heard... Um, who, was speaking, who did we speak to the other day? We are talking about it. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Lee Breeze. Yeah. yeah. Breeze, sorry. How that it's fast becoming a, a, a sort of um, quite the derby. So... I expect Brisbane to win. Reese Walsh is back with that beautiful new headgear. Have you seen it? It's pink. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Is it different to a regular headgear? I think it. I think it, there's like a little flap on there that covers his eye. Right. Like oh. a bit like a baseball helmet, yeah. is it? Yeah. yeah. Something it's got just... a little baseball flap. Not quite as big Does as the it? baseball one, but it's yeah. got a little trunk I saw on the one it. on training. Surely he doesn't play in a pink. In a pink. He would. He would. Boy, I know he wears the pink, but it's easy to Mate, spot. Pink tights, pink socks. I know, but it's, it's easy to spot. Here he he, he doesn't give a rat. He doesn't give a rat. Nah, no, nah, he doesn't give a rat. Sponnoed? Yeah. He's doing ads for a Ralph Lauren. Is he? <laughs> That's the big dosh there. He's doing ads for Ralph Harris. <laughs> the uh, Broncos and the Dolphins, Brian. Yes. Saved by the tourist. Um, Adam Reynolds had this to say on Jock Madden. Yeah, he's definitely more than ready. Um, I love Jock. He's a, he's a great kid. He's a learner. Um, you know, he's, he gets the team around the park uh, very well. He does his job very well. And, um, if anything, we need to be better around him. Uh, you know, support him a bit more. And he's a great player. He's fast. He takes the line on. Uh, he's got a lot of great attributes to his game. And, uh, unfortunately, the games that he's been, he's been playing in, we sort of haven't been well as a team. So uh, that's no knock on Jock. He's, he's a fantastic player, and no doubt he'll, he'll do his job. I think he's a good player, Brian, Jock school, Madden. Schoolboy school alert? Is he a schoolboy? Uh, Jock Madden. Yeah. Was oh, I, don't, I, don't think, oh, I don't know. I okay. don't know. I thought I, you'd know that for sure. Yeah, Jock Madden. Uh, he may have been. It, it rings a bell. Uh, Selwyn Cobbo, by the way, last year, the two games against the Dolphins, he scored four tries. Hasn't yet scored this year, Selwyn Cobbo, in that left centre position. Um, massive game. Dolphins are a chance. Dol oh, if, if, if Herbie and... Um, Herbie's out. Yeah, if he was playing, and Kafusi's obviously out... Flegger's named. I don't think he'll play. No. If he is, he, he can't be 100%. No, that's right. That's the only reason I don't think um, they can get the cash. Broncos, for me, but not by much. No cash here. Um, Warriors and the Seagulls, massive game. Massive, massive game. Dallin Wateni's Lesnak comes back. Kurt Capewell returns. As you mentioned earlier, Brian, depth central. Mm. Roger goes to centre. What a luxury that is. How, how many clubs would be in a position to push Roger to the centres. Not too many, I, I dare say. Pompey drops out of the 17. He's been pretty good. Very good. Mitch Barnett moves to prop. Bunty of four is out injured. Ben Trebojevic moves to the centres. Yep. So he's up against Rog. Ben, yeah. Ben against the Dodger. He's up against the Dodger. That's a big ask, isn't it? Uh, Garrick's out with the concussion protocols. The Seagulls have won. Well, they haven't won in Auckland since 2017. And the Warriors have won six of the past seven at Go Media Stadium. So... Well, we both believe they're legit, don't we? The yes, Warriors. Yeah, I think they get. I think they get the job done here. Just in speaking, of, we had the boxers in before boxing terminology. Roger, have you seen what Roger does? He when he plays, I notice he uses his left foot early doors. It's like oh, yeah. a jab. Oh yeah. And then fakes with the left, and then goes out <laughs> right foot. It is phenomenal. He did it again. Just to take him away a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he, he always sort of comes off his left foot coming back in, but then he works it out, and he'll go fake with the left. Off the right and runs wow. around him. Watch him. Watch him tomorrow. What a player. What a player. Can't wait to see that. Uh, and just repeating too, the first two games of the round, you'll get it on SEN League. So the Knights take you on the Roosters and the Storm take you on the Bulldogs on Friday 6pm. That's all on SEN League, if you don't mind. We've got the Eels take you on the Cowboys. What I've worked out with the Cowboys, Brian, mm -hmm. is when they're on the road, most times the game is decided at half time. So the Cowboys have either turned up, lead at half time, go on and win the match. Yeah. Or they've been stuck in the gate and the other team leads all the way and wins a match. It's a bit of a trend. Okay. Well, I've gone for the Eels here. Only because Mustard. 
Uh, well, that and the fact of bounce back factor. Yeah. Bounce back. It. This is what rugby league does. So you've got seven days to make it right. They've got a terrific record there. I think they won 10 out of the last 12. Combank, Combank yes. Combank. yes. So, and I'm just still worried about the Cowboys' defence. I oh, know. They seem to be... Can they win the comp, Cowboys? No. No. And I've had a, I've had a bet on them. He, Mandy. What, what are they Cowboy missing? Well, what is it? It's. I, I think it's all up between the ears. They just sort of look like they're world beaters. Val gets the ball and they go, look at this. They, they march down 100 metres. And then they'll give away a penalty or an error, and it's like their heads go down. Yeah, and they just sort of lose their way. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know what it is about them, but at the moment, defensively, they are a, a real worry. Blaze of glory dropped. Thoughts? I can't believe that. I can't believe. It, well, why not throw him on the wing? Throw yeah, the well, well Michael Sevo has been resold. Yeah, so the wingers are going to be Russell and Simonson, I think. Uh, look, that M- Morgan Harper. All due respect. Yep. I think there's more upside. With Blaze than Morgan. I think so. Uh, yeah, nine of the last 12 at Combank Stadium, as you quite rightly say, Brian. Gutho scored seven in his last nine games at Combank. And Scott Drinkwater plays his 100th NRL match. Yeah, he's good to watch, isn't he? Oh, he's great to watch. He's great. Well, he's the man now. He's taken over. When they get down to good ball, I know Tommy Dearden's a skipper and playing six, but Tommy uh, Drinky gets in there and starts. Yep. He, he's the go-to. Yep, he's the go-to. All right. Uh, the big news, of course, and we've been speaking about this, Mal Meninga. According to foxsports.com.au and James Hooper has been linked to the South Sydney Rabbitohs to be the interim coach potentially if that plays out. And you reckon it's going to happen, don't you, Brian? It looks that way. I was told, so what do the players do here? Do the players say, right, we're going to do it for JD? He's been there for, well, as an assistant, he's been there three or four years now. Do the players respond and go, you know, we know you're going, JD. We're going to send you off with this. The only way I can speak about this is I remember Tim Sheens had been announced as coming to the Tigers. Yeah. And he turned up to a game and we were going like a busted. And the Tigers had a massive game. Just having them there, knowing that, okay, we're thinking ahead now. I need to impress the new coach. Yeah. Okay. You think it's that. So more so the incoming coach, not the outgoing yes, coach. Yes, I think so. But in saying that, my concern for this is Hamlin Newell, he's been named on an extended bench. He's every chance of coming back. The back five from Cronulla is outstanding in their carries. Mm. Ronaldo, Militalo, Katoa, Ramian, you know, those sorts of players. Young Hero keeps his spot. H- how do – if if, you, if you're coaching against South Sydney and you watched Webster last week where every time – Thompson was going to be the man with the big carry, right? Yeah. So all they did was that cage kick. They put the kick up. Latrell didn't want to run it. No. And they just couldn't get out of their own half. And everyone's blaming the forwards, but it's a boulder, rolling boulder. Yeah. Right, so they just couldn't get started. Jai Gray comes in, 170 centimetres, shortest player in the game, and I wish him all the best. I hope he absolutely slays it, young Jai Gray. Tyrone Munro comes in, both very slight players. Yeah. So if Fitzgibbon and Co copy exactly what Webster did, and in this case it's going to be Tane Milne on the wing, then how how do they get out of their yeah. own end? But, but yeah, they're going to. Yeah, well, that's right. So maybe they're going to have to play a little bit smarter. Make sure they get up there and put a little pressure on, on Nico Hines. Um, they're going to do it tough without Damian Cook there at nine. Uh, they've got the young kid there. Remember Zulo? Yep. Different sort of player. He sort of brings the forwards onto the ball. Big, big Cody Walker big needs challenge. a big game. Big challenge. The incumbent him. man of the match for State of Origin has let the most tri- like tries and line break causes. He, has, he needs a big game, Cody. West Tigers and the Dragons. Some famous prelims there, of course. So five, the Tigers will win in 2010. The Dragons answer back 13-12, a soured field goal. Jacob Little plays his 100th, ironically, against his old team. So that's going to be interesting how that plays out. Uh, there must be some kind of doubt on Appy Coruscant, who had a bit of a hamstring concern. But it's uh, Tigers are favourites, Brian. I don't know, yeah. oh, know where to go here. Yeah. I, it, was, it was just... Oh, I went Tigers only, for, only because it's... At Campbelltown. But then I just read that their record's terrible. Yeah. They've lost eight in a row at Campbelltown. Yeah. Uh, Raiders and the Titans. Far out. Titans completing well, but not doing much with it. There's a stat called uh, pass receipts, Brian. They just don't pass it around. It's it's very bland football. Matt Timokor, he's a very, very impressive young man talking about National Lampoon, which is Chevy Stewart on debut. He's a good little kid. 
did, man. Uh, he's so energetic, uh, you know, whether it's on or off the field. Um, he's always got a big smile on his face. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited to see him get out there this week. Um, he's a bit like um, he's a bit like Sonic the Hedgehog, I feel like. You know, he's just very electric and, and real fast. And, uh, you know, he's darting around everywhere. And, um, yeah, I, I can't wait to see him uh, daily on Sunday. He's really deserved it. There you go. Sonic. Mind you, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, all the best to him. The boy from Kernel. Ricky Stewart has only won six of 25 against Desi Hasler. Desi Hasler's on a bit of a, a losing run. I think he's lost 12 in a row, so he needs this one too. So there you go. That's all the wash-up. I think the Raiders win that, Brian. Do you? Yep, yep. I agree. And Matt Timicor, 